Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of The Breeze, Breezeway Productions' The Breeze, where we bring the latest in independent films and film festival news. And we're happy to have two amazing guests here on the show today to talk about a very interesting project, which I was able to check out, called Within. It is a compilation of film vignettes, about 10 to 15 minutes, that showcase how life was like for many different people during the pandemic in a narrative sense. We have Chris Cooper and Marianne Leone. How are you guys? Real good, real good. Right on. Uh, thank you for coming on the show. And tell us a little about your segment that is involved in Within. Let's see. Uh, Celine Latre was uh, Latre, yeah. uh, approached Marianne, uh, she being both a writer and an actor, and um, put this idea of, of uh, gathering couples or families uh, during COVID and putting together short scripts, short stories. And they, the production company, would send us two luggage size uh, boxes of equipment, cameras, sound, lighting, tripods, microphones, everything, you can imagine more than much more than we needed to do our our little uh, ten minute piece. So mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah. So you know, she approached us. I I plan. You know, I I asked Chris if he was interested. He was like, Oh my God, I don't know. Oh, <laughs> should we do this? I mean, I said, well, You know, we're in quarantine. We're not going to see anybody. We're certainly not going to be working. Let's do it. Let's just do it. It's two days out of our lives, you know. So we wrote the. I wrote this piece about a couple. We had we had two elderly rescue dogs that we had had for thirteen years, mm -hmm. and one of them died, and so we had Frenchie left. And I said, what if we do something about a couple that um, uh, share a custody dog, and they've had an amicable separation, and the whole and and he manufactures something to stay overnight, and it's all about are they going to get back together? Oh, wow. Uh, th that is a very different approach to producing a segment. Uh, were you familiar with all of the equipment when they sent it to you being like, you are the crew, like, do it. Oh, that's why, that's, of course, that's why I was so hesitant. I have the greatest respect for all these different departments and, and what they, you know, the responsibility that they have. And here we are, the two of us running camera, lights, microphone, a really professional uh, sound setup, you know. Sure. And um, no, I was a little freaked out. <laughs> but Chris was really good. The minute we got the equipment, he was, I mean, I, I'm way too scattered to do this. He was like, okay, we're going into the guest room. I'm gonna divide it into what I think we're gonna use and what we're not gonna use. He took pictures of the way it was packed in the thing. And the first thing we pulled out was a note from Julianne Nicholson, who mm -hmm. had uh, worked with Chris on August Osage County. Mm -hmm. And she wrote in the note, just breathe. And I thought, uh oh, <laughs> good advice. So I called her. I was like, why did you say that? <laughs> and uh, she told us about the, the fun and pitfalls of doing this. And uh, we set off to do it. I know. Chris no. has to do it. The, it's uh, okay. It's, it's a very, it's very minor with the dog barking. Dogs will be dogs, but um, I know. we have two new rescue girls that we got during the quarantine uh, well uh, yes i mean it's good to have the pets around the uh, house they take your mind you know off what? these 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 dogs are fantastic and we've always had dogs but anyway very, uh, very good um so yeah, yeah so when you had all of this equipment around and that it did it like uh interfere with you trying to get your character in order while you were trying to hone in what what the script was saying about who your characters were because you had a lot of that pressure on your shoulders I think I, Marianne was kind of, and we ran into a lot of luck in, in just putting this piece together. Unbeknownst to both of us, what Marianne wrote was fortunate for us because we could literally shoot the whole thing chronologically. We didn't have to go from you know one room to the other, and we confined it to what you have here. What you're seeing is this open space of living room, dining room, kitchen, and we confined it to that to this area. And um, like I said, yeah. we could shoot chronologically, and I think that saved us a whole lot of time and and, and trouble. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. But it was terrifying in moments like there was a moment the first night where, you know, we finished up around one in the morning. We're wiped because it's been like a 15 hour day. 
and I go to turn off the sound because I was the sound guy and Chris was the DP. Wow. And I saw that it was already turned off and I was like, <gasps> oh, yeah, the worst didn't hit record. But what happened was we were so tired. I forgot I had turned it off about 10 minutes earlier. <laughs> and, and this, was what, this was one of the advantages, too, is that uh, they made available eight hours a day a DP and a sound person that if we ran into trouble, we could give them a call. Right. And uh, they'd instruct us how to, you know, get out of it, carry, carry on. Oh, wow. Yeah. But yeah. it was, yeah, because, because, and we didn't call them that often. No, but um, we did, we did a 360 of our house and sent it to the DP. And then he set up shots, which we could change as needed because, you know, because you've done film, sometimes you need to change the setup that you had originally thought of. But the biggest, the biggest <laughs> bugaboo was the fact that I had written wild turkeys into the scene because every day I am the bane of the neighborhood that I feed the wild turkeys they kind of hate me because I they're like our lawns but I don't care because it's kind of amazing to see these pterodactyl looking creatures fly up from 30 feet up into a tree have you ever seen this uh, the the way wild turkeys I, I know the whiskey and I know that they're real creatures <laughs> but just when you watch them it does not make sense <laughs> The weight of these turkeys that they can almost they can almost fly vertically you know it's kind of amazing but so anyway animal wranglers as well to add to yes. the crew position yeah, and, we've, and we've been feeding these turkeys for these Months. are wild turkeys yeah. and they come into a you know come to us uh every day a flock of about 15 yeah you know and so we really um we really depended on them coming showing up and of course you aim it was a nightmare a camera at something with a pencil eraser sized brain mm. and it runs um, away yeah so, hope for the best so that was like you know we did two days of shooting but then we had a day of um uh reshoot and uh, you know we were all cocky in the we we're like oh, we're not gonna need it this is an easy scene yeah the turkeys the turkeys yeah. <laughs> that's like the, the first thing they when they teach you in film school don't work, work don't work with kids or animals yeah. as yes. like the top <laughs> two or three things right. well you did it though and it, it worked out it just you had to you know make it work for you you can't really predict the mind of an animal but that's but you right. did it right and uh what the, was, dog what is, behaved, the dog behaved beautifully, but it was the turkeys that didn't show up. And also, Chris and I had not acted together since before we were married in a oh, student wow. film of Nancy Savoka's at NYU. That was the last time we had really act, acted together. Would you say this is your favorite scene partner, Chris? <laughs> oh, man, one of them, definitely. <laughs> I mean, we, you know, if people would ask me of all the films that I've done, what is most... Uh, what would most represent you to a T? And this is it. I mean, what what you see is uh, Marianne captured me really well, and I and I just I adore the relationship that that she created, um, and what what you'll see in this film. I mean, uh, it's it was um, it was a little fun. It was a little touching. Um, it was um, and a great experience to you know get back and work with my girlfriend here <laughs> you know. that's 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 amazing and it seems like both of you had a really great time while you were doing this piece and that it's included amongst a series of other great films and vignettes which have amazing talent like julianne moore who i saw in another piece uh as and it shoots from all over the world and it shows different experiences that people are having during the pandemic so again right. the project is called within uh we will be showcasing all the platforms that it's on below once we talk with the producers and the pr about it because I'm sure that it can be seen in many different areas. Uh, in closing, what would you say audiences, what, what you hope audiences can take away from watching your piece specifically in this project? Well, I think that, um, I think that they can take away that relationships, long-term relationships are often in flux 
And sometimes you're dancing together and sometimes you're dancing on opposite sides of the room, but you're always dancing. Mm. <laughs> oh, wow. Just amazing little nugget right there, like on the spot. That's well said and uh, definitely an enjoyable piece. There's lots of great things to see. So we hope everyone is able to check out Within and you can check out where it will be available below. And I wanted to thank you, Chris Cooper and Marianne Leone for joining us today to talk about your segment in Within. Thank Thanks, you. Alex. Thank Thanks you. for having us. so much. 